Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rockhound. If you're new, welcome. I hope you subscribe. Today, I am just doing some cutting. So, as the days go by, we've got these warm days and gas is expensive right now and things like that. I might not be able to get out rock hounding as much as I'd like to. And so because of that, I'm gonna start cutting things. I have so many rocks sitting around that still need to be cut open or at least cut to, you know, see what it looks like on an edge or something like that. I need to get cutting some of these and why not, right? So when I find time, start cutting some things open. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get the saw set up, get a bunch of material out, and I'm just gonna start cutting stuff and we'll take a look at it together. I hope you enjoy. So I've got the saw set up right over there. So I'm gonna start cutting. I've got this whole bucket full of things to cut. There are a few things in here that are gonna to be too big for the saw, so I'll have to pass on those, but we'll just start cutting and see what comes out of it. All right, I decided the first thing should be a geode. So I cut this. And we're going to see what it looks like together. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Because look how thin that was. Oh, that's beautiful. It's got three, three bubbles, three chambers. Well, that's <laughs> really nice. Well, what a, what a good way to start. Next up, this piece of petroid wood. So I decided to cut it that way rather than the typical across the grain just because it's a smaller piece and I thought it might look better that way. Although I don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting it, and then coming, cutting it over here, and then I'm coming right over here without looking at it so that we both get to see what it looks like together. Okay, here we go. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's actually worth cutting it that way on smaller pieces. So if you have wood that's thin like this, it's probably not good to cut it across like this where it's kind of across the grain, instead follow the grain. Here we have some agatized barite. This is from when we went down to Cisco and Yellow Cat. And unfortunately, as I was cutting it, it broke right here. You can see the fracture going through it. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like. It looks nice. It looks pretty much what I thought it might look like from the outside, but a little better. Yeah, you can see that fracture going through it. And some more fractures. Here's some more petrified wood. I decided to cut it along the green again. This, I think, comes from uh, the Nevada Pinkwood area. I'll have to do a video in that area. That's a really cool area. I'll get around to doing a video, but yeah. This is, I think, from the Nevada Pinkwood area. Oh! Whoa! That is so much darker inside than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, look at that. It's just like white on that end. Oh, that's beautiful. Here's a piece of jasper. I don't remember which location this came from. And unfortunately, the top of it just fractured off into pieces. So, I cut it. You can kind of see what it looks like on the outside, so I assume that's what it looks like on the inside. Pretty much, but there's that cool little purple splotch right in the middle. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, next we have this little agate. I don't remember where I collected it. <laughs> it was probably a while back. Um, but it's really nice. It's kind of got that volcanic exterior. And then you've got a little bit of banding you can see go through it. And you can already see the little there. It's got a little bit of a blue color to it. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Look at all those circles in it. Well, at the same time, look at all those fractures going through it. Wow, this stuff is, I don't know, ready to fall apart. <laughs> oh, but those circles are really cool. Here's the next one. So it's an agate that was kind of transparent through here, but then on, on this side, it kind of turned white on the edge anyway. So we'll see what it looks like. Unfortunately, it's cloud cover right now, so I don't know how we'll see. That's pretty interesting. I've got some red stuff going on in the middle that I wasn't expecting. I don't really see a whole lot of that from the outside. Huh. Well, that's interesting. 
Okay, this right here is an agate that I found, I believe it was down in southern Utah by the town of Enterprise. There's some interesting agates and jaspers in that area. And you can see the nice banding on the outside here. So, yeah, let's see what we got. That is uglier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, we've still got the nice banding on the outside. That center is, well, interesting. So here's some more of the uh, agatized barite. So last time, you know, I cut it with the grain and it looked pretty nice, but it pretty much is what I saw on the outside. So I thought, let's cut across it and see if it looks any different. Huh. I thought you would see all the little individual crystals. You don't really see that. Well, that's interesting. So today we're going to end with a piece of petrified wood. I decided to cut it along this way and it was pretty fractured, so lots of pieces kind of fell off of it. Uh, that happens. Let's take a look at the inside. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh, the colors. It's very dark. Some nice patterns. <laughs> that's a pretty nice piece. It feels good to cut through some of the stuff that has been sitting around for a while. And those are some pretty nice pieces. I only got through a few of them. I'm just going to do this as I have time. Some days you have half an hour, some days you have an hour, so or more. So today we're just doing a short one. I hope you enjoyed it. There was some really nice stuff, and I've got tons more to cut. So I'm going to try and maybe make this a regular thing that I, I upload one of these videos maybe at a different point in the week. Just to add some more stuff for you guys to enjoy seeing some of the stuff I've got sitting around, cutting it open, and just that thrill of what's inside of it. So I hope you enjoyed, and remember, there is treasure everywhere.